everyone. I am Dr. Dhammajib Dabade from MQR Medical Services. We are right now at CSI Con 2022 Chennai venue and it's my privilege and honor to be with us Dr. Jesu Krupa who is the consultant cardiologist from CMC Vellore and Sir has delivered his excellent talk on left atrial closure yesterday. So it's time to take few of the take home points from his delivered talk on yesterday. Sir, your points please. Thank you very much. So my talk yesterday was on left atrial appendage closure. What is the best imaging modality? And I had done a comparison between transesophageal echo and intracardiac echocardiography. Now, as we know, left atrial appendage closure is indicated in uh, patients with atrial fibrillation who are not suitable for oral anticoagulation. So, I had shown a patient, an elderly lady who, with hypertension and atrial fibrillation who had developed an intracranial bleed undergoing left atrial appendage closure. I had demonstrated the various steps via transesophageal echo the most important being the interatrial septal puncture, which is inferior as well as posterior, how to identify the landmarks, and then going on further to guide the closure itself, the sizing of the left atrial uh, appendage, the different morphologies that exist, ruling out a thrombus, and then proceeding with the closure itself and subsequently checking for stability and any residual leaks. Now, transesophageal echo in a high volume center like ours, we might be doing more than a thousand a year. So we have reasonable experience with this modality. It is cheap, it is uh, very easily available. There is plenty of expertise also readily available. So at our institution and in most other institutions, the experience is with transesophageal echocardiography. Intracardiac echocardiography, on the other hand, is an upcoming modality, but it is very expensive. The catheters uh, cost quite a lot and the availability is not much. And most importantly, it cannot be reused. And because of that, uh, even when we try to reuse, the quality goes down and uh, the images are not very clear. The other very important thing with intracardiac echocardiography is the fact that it needs to be placed in the right atrium and uh, the left atrial appendage being a far field structure cannot be very clearly visualized. So alternative methods like going into the right ventricular outflow tract, the PA, those are all cumbersome. Using a transeptal puncture and getting into the left atrium is an option but that increases the complexity of the procedure. The advantage of course being that you don't need general anesthesia but that seems to be a small gain as compared to the cost and the complexity of the procedure. In a large observational study, um, the largest in fact with more than a thousand patients uh, in more than 13 centers using nearly 16 operators, it was found that the procedural time, the radiation exposure, the contrast volume Everything was more, much more, in fact, in uh, those uh, where ice or intracardiac echocardiography was used. And this is a best case scenario, uh, taking the most experienced uh, operators uh, into consideration. The real world results may be very different from this. In short, transesophageal echo, which is a familiar technique, would be the uh, working uh, Gaia imaging modality apart from other modalities like CT. But intracardiac echocardiography, though useful, it has its limitations in our context. Thank you. Well noted, sir. Hope all your summarization of the talk on this particular topic, left atrial appendage, will definitely help all the audience who are watching us with us. And we are very thankful for your time and the whole discussion. Thank you, sir. Thank you.